taking a turn here in the transit. And turning radius is actually pretty good. Even though this is all wheel drive and not four by four like the Sprinter. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here in Intake's video. We're gonna be going over a modified Ford Transit E350. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this fan. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into the review. So powering this Transit, we have a twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 310 horsepower and then 400 pound feet of torque. Now this review is going to be a little bit different than normal. I'm just going to highlight the key features on this particular van and I really just want to see how this drives with the lift and the tires because I've never driven a modified Transit before. So anyways, you can see here with the venting on either side. I think it's a really cool aesthetic. It actually makes this look pretty aggressive for a cargo van. Then this has the bi-xenon projector bulbs with the LED accent lights. Super unique from an aesthetic perspective. I've actually never seen that on a Transit before. Fog lights down below and then parking sensors here on the front end and you can see here with the chrome front grille. And also with this paint color, instead of being, you know, a basic white or black like what you see on most other cargo vans, this color I think looks really good. Now, coming here to the side, we've got these 16 inch wheels, 245 millimeter tires wrapped around them. So the wheels themselves, notice how they have that cool off-roader appearance and then just look how aggressive these tires are. And you can see here with the suspension, so it looks like the van has been lifted a little bit and I love how uh, the spring's in blue. That looks really cool actually. And then notice here with the fender flares and then you see with the mirror and then the cladding all along the side. And taking a few steps back, here's the side view and look at the stance on this. Looks really good. And then popping here to the rear, we'll open it up first. So notice how that opens. And you can see storage space back here is super solid. So this one's the passenger configuration, so it's not in the cargo configuration, so you actually get carpeting there at the bottom, which I think is a nice feature and just how high this goes up. <laughs> Gotta walk in, and I can't quite stand up all the way. Uh, not quite, but I mean, it's still got tons of room. And this is passenger configuration, as you can see with all of these seats and with the carpeting down below. And you gotta make sure you close these in order. So notice here with how that looks on the outside. So you always wanna make sure that you close this one first and then this one second. <laughs> notice we got the XLT badge right there. We've got a Transit 350 badge and then you can see the all wheel drive EcoBoost badge down below with the receiver hitch at the very bottom. More parking sensors at the rear. And then just kinda like a full view of the rear. And then we'll quickly pop here to the interior so you can see so i got the sliding door notice here with the seats and really nice usually i expect to see like cloth seats in a cargo van like this but this is definitely nice and look how many people can fit so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that's crazy and leg rooms you know it kind of reminds me of like a school bus pretty much for my leg room perspective but i mean yeah quite a bit and notice we got a little usb port there on the other side and let's quickly sit in the seats so yeah i mean of course like of course we got headroom all the way up to the top but let's quickly head over to the front okay so you can see here from a material standpoint pretty basic with the door panel but the thing that's always interesting about the transit is this where you fill up with the fuel which is uh pretty unique and notice here with the light control, and then we got more storage. Like you're gonna notice there's storage space literally everywhere here in the van. And then again with the padding on the seats, definitely solid power adjustments there on the side. And then we got the grab handle to help with getting in and out, which is great when the van is lifted. Now, if you guys are wondering, this van has a million and a half keys. And it looks like it has a remote start too, on top of that, which is pretty cool. But <laughs> we have to decide which flip out key we're gonna do, right? So. You need to start up with that. And we'll actually uh, keep this open so we have a nice airflow here. But anyways, starting off with the steering wheel, notice the Ford logo there. This has adaptive cruise control. We've got our voice command phone controls as well. We have our little turn signal stock on that side. Windshield wiper stock on the other side. 
And then popping here to the center, you can see here with the gauge cluster, analog gauges on either side, and then here with the van there. And let's actually see what the fuel economy is. 11.1 miles per gallon for a big cargo van like this is actually pretty solid from a fuel economy standpoint. So I'm surprised with that. And we do have uh, the traction control button, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the animation on, it's like a little tire spinning. It's kind of cool. I'll show you guys the button in a second. Uh, and then we do have some different drive modes. Normal, eco, slippery, mud ruts, and then we have our tow haul mode as well. And this does have a uh, parking assistance. I'll show you guys all the controls for those in a moment, but that's the gauge cluster. So here are those controls I was talking about for the parking assistance and the parking sensors. And then you can see here the drive modes and then the traction control. And then here is the center infotainment system. So first off, popping in reverse, we do have the trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you can see both lines there at the center portion. Resolution is actually pretty solid. And also, I don't know why my heated seat's on. Man, I was like, why am I getting hot? That's the rest of the screen. Response time is really quick. If you guys are familiar with Ford's other infotainment systems or cars with this infotainment system, then yeah, you'll kind of understand. It's, it's a good system. Down below, you can see again, heated seats. We've got the climate control for the front single zone climate. And then we have the shifter for the 10 speed automatic. It also has a manual shift function, 12 volts, and then some cup holders. And then also we have four auxiliary switches. So if you want to add stuff, trailer brake controls here off to the side and got the glove box set up. Now popping up top here, you can see here with the climate control section at the top as well, which is for the rear, if you guys are wondering. So climate controls down below for the front, climate control at the top for the rear. And then also notice the storage space here at the top. Again, still a cargo van. So there's, again, there's, there's storage space literally everywhere with the van. Now that we're done with the quick walk around here, we're actually going to take this out and drive this because I want to see how this drives with the lift. And I just talked to the previous owner of this van about some stuff about this van and the Mercedes Sprinter. So we're going to go over all of that with the uh, driving impressions. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors do have blind spot monitoring. Then throughout the rest of the rear and Let's set off. Oh, setting off here in this cargo van again with the uh, little lift, right? And the off-road tires as well. Definitely interesting uh, to drive this around. Again, first time I've ever driven a modified transit like this. And I'm glad that I was able to talk to the previous owner of this van because he was able to give me quite a bit of insight on this and especially this compared to his Sprinter because he's owned both. And we'll kind of talk about that as we go through the motions. Um, so first off, I mean, this still drives like a cargo van, right? Um, you still have like, it, it still feels pretty big, but you're so far forward that it's actually not uh, difficult to drive. It's it's pretty uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Oh, it's got auto stop start too, looks like. Which is a nice thing. And uh, I'm not sure how quick this is gonna be with the off-road tires. So I'm gonna be very uh, cautious with pulling out. But again, we've got that twin turbo 3.5 liter V6. So it should do a pretty decent job with acceleration if I remember right the last time I drove one of these. So we'll get up and moving with this one. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> this thing's pretty quick. This thing is pretty quick. Wow. And handling on it's actually solid too. Like it's, again, it's a big van, but it's it's not, it's not bad from a handling perspective. Brakes also solid. And let's kind of start getting into the uh, Sprinter comparisons with this uh, van. So first off, like I said, the previous owner has owned both. And here's what he said in terms of, you know, what he thinks with owning both of them. So he said acceleration with this is so much better than the Sprinter because the Sprinter uses that diesel and he said it's gutless. Hopefully I've made my point, right? This is really solid from an acceleration perspective. Uh, he said that there's a few areas that in the Sprinter, he was barely able to get uh, over like 40, 45 miles an hour. Whereas like in this, he could just be cruising at 80 miles an hour, no problem. So yeah, again, acceleration with this is so much better than the Sprinter. His next complaint had to do with the driveline system in the Sprinter. So, this, so the Sprinter is four wheel drive. And to get into four wheel drive, this is what he described to me is you have to be in neutral, rolling, going like five miles an hour or less roughly. And then there's like a switch underneath the dash that you have to pull to pop it into four wheel drive. 
and he said it's just not exactly like the safest or most intuitive thing. Whereas this being all wheel drive, you don't have to worry about that. And so it's not, it's not like this super difficult system to use. So just hearing the previous owner talk about his experience with both of the vans and the fact that he would go with the Transit over the Sprinter, just like, Again, I feel like that has a pretty big weight behind it. Someone who's owned both fans, modified both fans, all that. And so, yeah, continuing along, it's actually pretty smooth from a driving characteristic. I'm gonna turn on the uh, climate controls here because it's uh, getting pretty toasty here in the van. I guess that we will kind of get into summing things up here with the Transit E350, uh, you know, with some modifications to it. Um, so first off, I think this is the coolest looking Transit I have ever seen again with the tires and the wheels and having the LED lights just, I don't know, it helps out a lot in my opinion. I mean, obviously that adds practicality to it uh, because those bi-xenons are gonna be brighter at night compared to the base lights that uh, come with this. But uh, again, it just, it looks better aesthetically. So that's another uh, big plus. Yeah, the auto stops are pretty seamless. So that's, that's another nice system to have. And so, yeah, I think there's just a lot uh, to love about this. And I think this is the van that uh, after hearing uh, the previous owner's experience with this van and with the Sprinter, I don't think there's any reason why I'd ever purchase a Sprinter if I wanted to do, uh, again, this is a passenger format, but you cargo van as well, right? A lot of people are doing these off-road builds with cargo vans. And I don't think that I'd go for a Sprinter after hearing that because it's like, oh, if I wanna have a van that has good acceleration, that is going to have a reasonable, you know, system for driving in the snow, AKA all wheel drive versus the four before the sprinter has. And you know, this is priced super reasonably for all the features you get. I feel like at this point, the only reason why you'd get a sprinter is so you have the Mercedes badge on the front end, because this is better than the sprinter in every single aspect. And I feel like this uh, build show really, really showcases that. And so, uh, yeah, if you are looking for, you know, a cool modified cargo van, right? The Ford Storm Provo has this one. And if you're baiting between a, friend, a sprinter, a sprinter and a transit, then uh, hopefully this uh, sways you in the proper direction at transit. I'll see you guys. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this Ford Transit E350. And again, a huge shout out, thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with the van. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in that next video.